Hi, dear students, how are you? Let's complete the word problem uh, lesson. So I have here Emma made three sandwiches and cut each uh, sandwich into two equal parts. Three equal sandwiches. I have here one, two, three sandwiches and they cut into two uh, every one into halves they ate she and her brothers ate five parts one two three four five so five out of how many parts of the total let's see the total together we have here one two three four five and six so out of six so five out of six they ate five five parts out of six here okay I can write it here for you guys. I write five here in the answer. Five, six, right, like this, how about I have here, uh, James has two same size strings, as you see, and each one is cut into eight equal sides. So, uh, uh, eight equal pieces. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And I have another heat eight parts okay he uh uses uses 11 pieces so i will uh, color 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 so 11 out of what he used 11 strings okay and how many now uh, how many strings not used not used let's see one two three four five so five strings not used okay okay this is the last one i have here so mr bell cut two here pies into what into fours after her family eats a pie there is no the buy the pie there is no uh, there is only one piece left as you see how much did uh, how much pie did they get together one whole remember when this is the whole pie all shaded and what and one fourth and one fourth okay now let's here enter the uh, addition strategies uh, uh, addition strategies lesson what strategies can be used to remember sums of basic facts okay guys Draw a picture to show the problem, then write an addition sentence for the problem. Let's see together if I have here two apples, okay, and three oranges. And I ask you here, how many fruits can you see? I say two apples plus three oranges give me five, five kinds of fruits I have here or five fruits here I have got at all so I have here what I have here another word is called double fact what's double fact if I if I tell you here five is doubled please take care of this five is doubled means that five is repeated two times five is repeated two times okay guys okay if i say to you something else changing the order of addends doesn't change the sum if i say seven plus one equal eight right one plus seven equals what the same eight so if i change here the order of the addends, addends mean seven here is an addend and one is an addend. So changing the order doesn't change the answer. Okay, so the sum I mean. So three plus six is the same as what? Six plus three, right? So it's the same as six plus three. Okay, so let's solve together. 3 plus 4, 4 in my mind, after 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 plus 0, any number plus 0 gives me the same number, 0 is nothing here, 1 plus 8, can I write here the answer, When I can I write it first, of course, it's 9, 4 plus 2, 6, right, okay, 1 plus 5, 6, 4 plus 4, 8, 4 here is doubled okay 2 plus 3 5 okay guys when I ask you something 6 plus 3 equal 3 plus what huh 
we make it like this the here remainder is six another question if i say one plus uh, one plus five one plus five equal five plus five goes with five the remainder one right one right okay let's see together if i give you here the two numbers under each other here 10 plus 10 let's start with the ones here focus 0 plus 0 0 this is the ones and this is the tens 1 plus 1 2 so the answer is 20 4 plus 7 after 7 8 9 10 11 okay guys easy Mr. Carter, let's see the word problem because it's very important. Mr. Carter wrote a double fact. Double. It has the sum greater than 6. The addends are each less than 6. What fact might be have why, might be have written? Might he have written? Okay, he has doubles, okay guys. So, and the sum here uh, as you see, less here, okay, the sum here 6, the sum here 6. So, let's here analyze what we are talking about. Carter has doubles. Doubles mean two numbers equal to each other, okay? Their sum, okay, it has their sum greater than 6. So, the answer here must be greater than 6. Okay, maybe 7. 7 equals uh, some doubles? No. 8, we have here something like the other, the sum of them gives me 8, yes, it's what, it's 4, here we have, what fact might be have been written, 4, 4 plus 4, we have here equal 8, and 8 here, it's greater than the 6, okay, so it will be like this, Thomas painted 4 pictures, Maria painted 2 Okay, Maria painted twice as many pictures, step by step. Thomas painted how many pictures? Four pictures, as you see here, four pictures, Thomas. Maria painted what? Twice as many as pictures as Thomas. We have here four. Here, Maria more than him twice. Twice means what? Like him, but more the same here numbers. It's like double. It's like double. So, please, we write twice, double. Twice, double. So, four plus what? Four plus four. How many did they paint together? Okay. Here, Maria, four plus four equal eight. And what about Thomas? Four. So, again, step by step. Here I have Thomas, 4, Maria, double, double means 4 plus 4, equal 8. So the total of both of them, total of both of them, 8 plus 4, 8 plus 4, after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Mr. here, Mr. Uh, Mr. Really. I want the marker. Mr. Willy is a truck driver. His truck has six wheels on each side. So I draw here the truck. It has how many wheels? Six wheels in each side. One, two, three, four, five, six wheels. Okay. In each side. So draw it. Draw it, guys. So how many wheels are there in the truck? Six and six gives me 12. Okay. Okay. In the morning, there are five buses at the station. In the afternoon, there are double. There were double that number. Double five means what? Five plus five. Okay, ten. So, he asks me how many buses were at the station in just the afternoon. So, it will be double. It will be ten. So, the answer is ten. Write each sum. It's very easy to do it. Okay, guys. So, this is the last one we will solve. There are six blue hats and five red hats on a store shelf. Six blue and five red. How many hats are there? Six plus what? Six plus five gives me 11. Okay, is it easy? I think it is. Now we are going to have lesson, make a 10 to add. It's a very interesting lesson. So let's do how 
let's see how can we solve here addition by using the 10. What are you saying, miss? Okay, guys, we know that here if I have 10, okay, plus 2, it's very easy. I say 12 without counting because 2 comes instead of what? Instead of 10. When I send 10 plus 5, it gives me 15. We put 5 instead the 0. So, it's easy to use the 10, right? Okay, 7 plus 5. Okay, 7 plus what gives me 10? 7 plus what gives me 10? Plus 3. So, I say 7 plus 3 is 10. And here, 5 was 3 and 2. 5, 3 and 2. And you have here 10 and 2. It will be 12. What are you saying, miss? It's, it's, it's difficult? No, it's tricky. So, again... 7 plus 5, I have here 7 the same. I want 5 to be what to be here uh, divided into two numbers. 5 is 3 plus 2, right? I have 7 plus 3 equal 10 and then 10 plus 2 equal 12. Let me see how can I solve this miss together again. Okay, uh, let's see this. I have here 8 plus 3. 3 is what? Okay, I have here 3 is 2 plus 1. So, after this, 8 plus 2 is 10, right? Then 10 plus what? Plus 1 gives me 11. Another one, this 2 equal 1 plus 1. Okay, I will take here 1 plus 9 gives me 10. Erase it. 1 plus 9 gives me 10. Then plus what? Plus 1 gives me 11. Okay, guys, another one. We have here, make a 10 to find the sum. Make a 10 to find the sum. How can I make a 10 here from 9 and 4? I will take here from 4, just 1. 4 equals 3 plus 1 and plus 9. 9 plus 1 gives me 10. Plus 3 gives me 13. Again, 5 and 9. How can I get here 10? 5 plus what? Plus 5. And here the 9 is what? 5 plus 4. So 5 plus 5 give me 10 plus 4 gives me here 14. Okay? Okay, let's see this problem. Here he asked me, Winston has 8 tokens and Shelly has 5, token, five tokens. Okay, which of the following could you use to find how many tokens they have? We have here the sum of 8 and 5 is what after 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So, which one here gives me 13? 10 plus 3, right? Okay, by that we have finished. So, study well from the video and from uh, and if you have any question send me on google classroom my dear students thank you